can save money with it. We have the life insurance, death benefit aspects. We have investing, we have debt, we have the tax shelter, we have income, and we have asset protection. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things you can do with it. Number eight is that it's never lost money. So there's not another financial tool out there that can claim that thing. It's, it's, it's only the sacred account. Okay, what did we say we pay? 150? You know, was it 150 if they could prove that wrong? Okay, if you can prove that wrong, we've got 150 bucks for you, right? So action steps. I'm going to wrap up here tonight, guys. Action steps. If you're watching this today and you're like, all right, well, what do I do? Number one is actually sign up for a sacred account. You need to get a sacred account put together. You already have that money somewhere. Okay, so it's, a, it's, it's, it's two things. There's only two reasons you wouldn't do it. Number one, you don't believe us. That's totally fine. Like I said, we're pretty much telling you Santa Claus is real. Let's get on a call. Let's send you some info. Let's get you what you need to, to actually look at to make a decision on is this true or not. That's the first reason you wouldn't do it. The second reason is you don't actually think you're going to have the money available either now or long term. Like you don't think you can commit to the idea of having to put money away, which is a shame because you're doing that with your debts. You're doing that with your mortgage. You're doing that with your 401k. You're already committing money to places that are not good for you. So why would you not just redirect all that money to something that's good for you and that you know you can commit to? Now, if you don't think you can commit to it, that's actually why you need to set one up. I talked to a client yesterday that's going through a lawsuit. Do you know what he told me? It's Chris. Chris told me, he's like, hey, I'm going through this deal. Everything's crashing and falling on me. The only thing that has not stopped is my sacred account. Like, like, like just terrible situation. His sacred account is the only thing that's still continuing to go. He's like, no matter what, I know that that money is going in that account. And I know that that's there for my family. Okay. Lawsuit happening, like struggling right now, like a ton of situations that aren't great, but he has security knowing that that's the one thing that's going right right now. Because all he's got to do is maintain what he has in the account. The money comes out every single month on auto draft, right? So if you're one of those people where you're like, I don't think I can commit to it for your own sake and for the sake of your future, you need to. Because you're giving, you're getting rid of the, the ability to not save money. Like the sacred account is a forced savings plan. It's forcing you to save money. You don't have the option to not save. So if you really take it seriously and you say you want wealth and you say you want to build up your, your assets, then get rid of the option to not. Like if I, was, if I was not going to the gym, I would hire a personal trainer to get rid of the option to not go to the gym. This is no different. It's the same exact idea. So set up your sacred account, sign up for one, get your wealth creation blueprint done. We're gonna build you an entire financial blueprint before we issue your account and set it up so you actually can see your numbers and we can strategize with you on what's the best way to go about this. Uh, number three, determine your financial goals and needs. So is it going to be saving? Is it going to be investing? Is it debt? What is the actual thing we're going to do with the account first? Because we're going to try and build it for that and custom tailor it, right? And then tailor your, tailor your uh, I think I spelled Taylor wrong there. Uh, Lexi, did I spell Taylor wrong? <laughs> okay, tailor your sacred account for these things exactly. So if I'm going to pay off debt, we're going to tailor my account for debt. We're not going to tailor it for real estate right now. We're going to tailor it for debt. Okay. And we should actually get, we should actually get an employee here named Taylor. And that's what they do is they tailor the sacred accounts. We would just be like, Taylor, it'll be like old school, like with suits and stuff. Uh, number five, meet with our CPA and reduce your taxes 20 to 30%. Now start the sacred account first. So you have momentum, you know, it's a real thing, you know, it's happening. And then we'll try and see if we can get some icing on the cake by freeing up your money on your taxes. Now, here's the great thing. What if you signed up for a sacred account, not really knowing if you could do it, and then we freed up 20 to 30% on your taxes and all of the money you needed for your sacred account is just right there now. Like that's what we're trying to accomplish with you. Like, you know how the, how the government subsidizes stuff? Like if you can't afford food, they give you food stamps. You can't afford healthcare, they give you healthcare. We're trying to do an anti-subsidization, meaning we're going to help you set up a sacred account, but this time we're going to make the government pay for it with their money. Instead of them paying for it with our money, we're going to flip it. They're going to fund your sacred account because we're going to free that up on your taxes. Okay. Like, doesn't that get you excited? I get, I get the jitters just thinking about that. I like taking money away from the government. 
And then number six, contribute the extra cash into your account and go like handle the, the debt, the investing, whatever the thing is you're trying to get rid of or build up, use the, the sacred account right now as you're setting it up, start doing those things like make, make action.